Foodie with News OK. And Cheryl. And Cheryl is our Passion for Food food columnist for The Oklahoman. Today we are making a Made in Oklahoma dinner. So all of these products are Made in Oklahoma products. Absolutely, they are. We're, our dinner menu tonight is a meatloaf. That's the mainstay, and we're going to start with that. And then we're going to have a couple of other great side dishes great. to go with it, all from Oklahoma ingredients. Now, this is something uniquely yours. Well, it is. This uh, is what I call my mushy meatloaf without having to get your hands messy. You start with the pound of yeah. ground beef, good Oklahoma beef, mm -hmm. and uh, then a couple of eggs, and I just beat those. Mm -hmm. So it's a little more eggy and a little more... Wow, you just crumbs. pour it all there in the bag. Cool. Pour it all in the bag. Okay. And then uh, we've got some panko crumbs, and I'm going to use, oh, probably most of a cup. Okay. And then club crackers. Interesting. And they're just mushed in a bag, of right. course. Huh. <laughs> so that works. And this is probably maybe three fourths of a cup. Okay. And then I like to add a little pizzazz, ah. and so I put a little Oklahoma salsa, Very and there's nice. several to choose from. Very nice. Then, of course, yes. the onions. I don't know where we would be without them. <laughs> and so we're gonna put probably a good half, two thirds. And then I sort of mixed up all my spices together. I had some uh, wonderful herbs in the yard that are still doing great. Sage and oregano ah. and uh, thyme. Very nice. And a little bit of rosemary, garlic salt. So just put that and in so as well. So that works great. Then now how it, do we, I, I and it all goes in inside there. I wow. think you could get your hands in it like this. And you can either zip the bag up or not, and you just keep working it. Mush it around. Mush it till you. <laughs> it's better if you sort of get the air out. Okay. And then you just mush it like so. Wow, interesting. Just keep it wiggling works. it around. Be sure you use a freezer bag because it's thicker. They're thicker. They're a little thicker, and it works better, I think. And you just want to make sure that everything is distributed evenly. So this is this is how you would this prepare is, it. This is how I would prepare it, and I'm just kind of shaping it in here in the bag. And then I've got my little plate that I'm going to put it on. In this case, I've got some plastic wrap underneath. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn this out. Pour it out, wow. Like so. And uh, just I just kind of mash this down. Huh. Now this will go in the freezer. Okay. And I like to cook it a good hour and a half at about 350 degrees. Yeah, very nice. And that works. And what I do before I put it in the oven, I take uh, some of those canned tomatoes mm -hmm. and uh, I just spoon some of them over the top okay like so at this point is I would get some of these juices and put around mm -hmm. this oh, okay. and put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes uh -huh. and then I can loosen all of that sure. and it makes a wonderful sauce oh. for the meatloaf okay. have some other ideas for you this is um, from a restaurant in uh, s southwestern Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and it's down at Anadarko, and it's called Scafettas, huh. and they have a pasta sauce, and this would be great on that. And on so, the meatloaf, yeah. On the meatloaf, mm -hmm. or you can use it in this dish, which is a secondary dish, oh. and I want to show you these beautiful Something rigatonis. Made as well, yes. Yes, this is the rigatoni. Oh, so this and, is... Yes, this is Della Terra. An Oklahoma pasta. This is an Oklahoma pasta. Very nice. It's Loman Dairy. Mm -hmm. It's called the Land of Milk and Honey. Mm -hmm. This is their mozzarella. They oh, have several beautiful nice. cheeses. This is Swiss chard. This is from Peach Crest, uh, nice. and it's all organic. Wow. And USDA certified, and it's down by Stratford, Oklahoma. Wow. They're so beautiful. They are. This is, Look at that swirl. Uh, this is the Butterflake roll okay. and it's made by Ingrid's Bakery here oh. in Oklahoma City. Perfectly delightful oh. with the meatloaf. They look gorgeous. Oh yes. This is um, the uh, Focus Farm spinach and it's absolutely beautiful. Wow. Well Cheryl, here we have it. This oh, is yes. our Made in Oklahoma dinner. Tell me about it. Yes, it's wonderful. We have our wonderful lightly sauteed spinach, just enough to turn it bright green mm -hmm. in olive oil with a little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. We have the Ingrid's oh. Kitchen butterflake rolls. We have a big chunk of meatloaf. Mm -hmm. 
and Delaterra rigatoni. Wow. If it's made in Oklahoma, it's good for Oklahoma. And if it's good for Oklahoma, it's good for all of us. Yes, exactly. This is a beautiful example of how you can support our local producers, um, Oklahoma producers, obviously, who make quality ingredients for our meals. Wonderful food that we have here. Okay, so for more information on uh, Made in Oklahoma ingredients, Made in Oklahoma products, check out Cheryl Jones' Passion for Food food column in the Oklahoma in the life section. She'll give you all kinds of wonderful ideas and recipes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.